<laughs> Why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. No. All computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all just fine. Oh God. This is no, no. Hello guys, my name is Michaela, and today we're playing Fallout 4. I'm a bit sick and I'm losing my voice, but I'm alone in the house, so I'm using the time to record this. I'm one of you. Last time when I played Fallout 4, I'm um, suggested to suggested that word to me to play um, the mission to Silver Shroud. So we're gonna do that, and I hope this will be a fun episode of Fallout 4 with. Moi. So, um, we're taking dog meat. I'm not gonna risk that um, any of my companions will dislike my decisions to help. Like, I would take Paladin Dance, and when I would be like nice to ghouls, he would he would not like that. So, I'm trying to be nice with everybody. So, pretty much my safe option is taking dog meat with me. So, I'm ready to go, have my everything stuff loaded, and we can just quick travel. Closer, let's just pick the quest so we can have that uh-huh and also i taken over the castle um i just couldn't wait i am now fully have the general outfit and i'm really happy about that um and i actually freaked out when the big crab came out of the water it was so cool i so i hope i have the clip and also i got a new companion nick who's a detective and i seriously really like the guy is am he's amazing his voice and he has this Sherlock Holmes vibe and I really like that about him. So yes, um, before I get distracted, let's pick the mission The silver shroud is gonna be on the radio, I believe Yeah, but we have to go closer there. Let's go closer Um, I believe Nick is gonna wait for us over there because it It has something to do to find um, our son or something I was doing the mission with Nick looking for my son and we figured out that the kidnapper who kid that my boy and killed my husband was actually a sin. All this tech. You were barely human. So that's nice. Oh, good neighbor, there it is. I didn't, I still haven't find, found it. So let's go to this one thing where I foolishly went into the water and this a mutated troll thing came out. It was quite funny. My brother was here and he seen me paddock. So that was nice. Okay, we see the silver shroud signal found, and we're gonna click on that. <clears throat> let's see, radio and silver shroud, and I'm so interested what it's gonna be. Wait, let's just we have everything off, okay? And let's just pick this. Calling all silver shroud fans! I got an urgent mission. If you're a true fan, stop by the memory den and to talk to Ken Conley. The silver shroud needs you. Okay. Galaxy News Radio. When evil walks the streets of Boston, one uh -huh. man lurks in the shadows, shielding the innocent, judging the okay. guilty. That this is like the creepy the horror radio. Oh, wait, what's there? Oh, I, I, that scared the heck out of me. Okay, um, which way we're going? Um, good neighbor, let's just put on my map. Well, 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 looks like someone got lost on the wrong side of the tracks. Old Corner Bookstore, this is new. What's in here? What was that? Oh. Okay, this is going damage. Headshot, headshot, headshot. Oh, there's a turret. Okay. Okay, dog me, let's try go inside the bookstore and maybe that's where we are gonna get into Good Neighbor and the Silver Shroud. Okay, this is creepy. We should sneak. Well, honey, I saw that. Look. It's showing us outside. Oh yeah, we're farther away. Can't call away. Damn it! Now let's continue. The right path. 
hear gunshots. Oh, maybe that way? Oh. Evil dogs. Okay, I'm gonna get you. My amazing gun skills. Ah! Okay, okay, we found it. That's good, that's good. Okay, let's just quick save to be sure. And let's continue. All are welcome. Okay, good to know. I love the sign. Okay, dog meat. Let's make some new friends. And hopefully, not make enemies. Haha. <laughs> Ooh, this is new. What the heck is this? Army. Okay. And we're in. Good neighbor. Okay, okay. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? Yeah. You can't go walking around without insurance. Um. I'm gonna be sarcastic. Unless it's keep dumb assholes away from me, insurance, I'm not interested. <laughs> now, don't be like that. I think you're gonna like what I have on offer. Yeah. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Oh, no. Big, bloody accidents. I can squish you. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? I see Bernard. You ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn. I said let her go. You soft Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. I love his voice. Now why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Uh, you right, sister? Yeah, you just... Okay. I love his voice, though. I've seen... Um, he's gonna be a companion, I think. I think his name is called John. Um, I'm gonna just say yes. I'm fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Yeah. Now don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Yeah. Everyone's welcome. Thank you. He has now a voice like me. I'm <laughs> I feel so welcomed. Um good neighbors. Guess it, I feel you. Sounds like anarchy. Um I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. Good. You stay cool and you'll be part of the neighborhood. Okay. So long as you remember who's in charge. Uh-huh. Hey, hey, I wanna talk to you. Mayor Hancock. Too bad about Finn. Gonna miss him next Super Mutant attack rolls around. Oh. Oh well. What can I do for our newcomer? Work? Looking for work. Work, huh? Hmm. I'll tell you what. I got reconnaissance needs. Okay. There's a lot of weird talk coming in about a place called the Pikmin Gallery. Uh -huh. It's raider territory up there, but they've been quiet. Like uncomfortable post-coitus quiet. Okay. Sleep it out and give me the word. Okay. Scout out Pikmin Gallery. Got it. On it. Cool. Be thorough, okay? I'm not paying for a look-see. Find out what's really going on there. Okay. I already like this guy. Okay, okay. Yep. I think that's good. I'm just gonna like, keep the body here. Um, okay. So let's see. Let's continue the Silver Shroud mission. And I hope I can get... Ooh. Hi. Kill. Well, oh. Hello. Hi. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. <laughs> Except me. I only kill when I want to. That's creepy. What are you? What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? Oh my god. Um. By the voice, yes, I could have told that she had, she is female, yes. You certainly look like a woman, yes. Then that's all that matters, right? Mm-hmm. Now are you buying what I'm selling? Um, butter. I'll take a look, sure. A gun for every occasion. That should be good. Okay, let's just continue. I'm getting too distracted right now. Okay. So which way am I going? Ooh. Third rail. 
Memory dead? Okay, we're going to memory dead. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, I think Nick's some is somewhere over here. Probably gonna meet him. So I'm getting distracted. I seen some fan art of um, Hancock, um, the mayor. So I knew that he existed when I, I knew when I seen him that he's gonna be our companion. I heard lots of good stuff about him, and his voice. Dang, I like it. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. That's fun. I thought you had forgotten about I guess maybe they're, uh, May have they walked over? out of the den, Irma, uh, but I'd never walk out on you. Of, hmm. Amari's downstairs. That, uh, that was a joke. Okay. Uh, really hey, Nick. Brotherhood is listening. Nick. Let's go talk to Amari. Okay. Am I going the right way or not? Probably not. I think it, this is not the Silver Shroud yeah, thing. Let's just join him for now. I should put my gun away, okay. Okay, let's do this, and then we're gonna continue this Silver Shroud mission. Dr. Amari? Yes, I take it this isn't a social call. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man named Kellogg. But he's dead. Yeah. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari. But you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse. Yeah. You don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Please. Nick told me you're the only one who could make this work. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. Mm -hmm. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Yes. Here you go. Here's what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's mm -hmm. the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. Mm -hmm. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could, could fit him. Oh. But that's... An incredible risk to take. Oh, yeah. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't uh, worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Oh. Thanks, Nick. Hey. I appreciate this, Nick. Mm. Don't you die. Can thank me when we've found your son. Mm. All right. Let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? <laughs> okay. Let's yeah. see here. Uh -huh. I know, I know, Doug, I mean, this is scary. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. Mm -hmm. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Mm -hmm. And? Is Nick okay? Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? Okay. We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Uh -huh. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Ooh, this is so cool. Um, let's do it. All right, let's get started. Just sit down over there. And keep your fingers crossed. I hope you'll stay See sane. You on the other side. See you, Nick. Okay, um, am I going here?
creepy and I love it. And sorry, I was planning to do the silver shroud and now we're doing something totally else. We'll get to that. Yay. Please stand by. Dog meat, just stay there. Oh, it looks so cute. Can I like look Initiating around? Initiating brainwave oh. migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. Okay. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They oh. might not be stable. Just hold on. The member like how he shot my husband. That would be sad. Okay, okay. And there, uh, and then there was light. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working. Although the memories are quite fragmentary. Oh my god. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Okay. This is so creepy. Uh, I can walk. Oh god, this there. is... There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Where? Up, down, Remember, right, left. You are experiencing these memories SKL. as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Okay. So we're going up there. Okay, okay. This is so weird. This reminds me of the Mass Effect um, um, thing that when you went to the Gap Mind. Turn down the goddamn radio! I'm trying to sleep! All five states have now signed on, which means that as of this moment... I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. Uh. I should have. Instead, I ended up running away. I told myself I wanted to find somewhere out from under the thumb of the NCR and all their rules. But really, I was running from the guilt of not protecting her from Dad. Aww. Yeah, it doesn't matter now, though. That's sad. Mom knew how it was. She wasn't soft, but uh, she loved me in, in her way. And she protected me from Dad. <laughs> that cost her more than a few beatings. Mm. I never knew what happened to her after I left. I didn't want to know. Not then. I'm gonna feel sad for this guy. Um. Mm, what a joke. Okay. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them safe. Teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days. Like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop sending you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the f*** did you put my boots? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you will turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hand. What a lesson. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I... I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. You've always been my good boy. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. Okay. There. Um, Try that one. If you okay, there. Okay. If you say there, you need to show me because then I can't see it. Okay. Going on the brave waves. Look into the past of the guy. Oh, a baby! Hi! It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've gotta give it a chance. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know, but that's where I come in. Just wait. 
In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. Aw. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Mm -hmm. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I promise. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. Nah. No, it's okay. I got it. I feel so bad. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Okay. I wonder, something probably happened to his wife. Like, this, maybe the Sith kidnapped his baby or... I don't know. Like, this is not making me feel <laughs> positive. Ooh, creepy, creepy. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just f with us and we wouldn't f with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. Oh my god. And you weren't there to help them. another memory to try I'll connect you so they killed my fam I mean his family oh my god and then they turned him into a synth that's my theory okay mind if we sit down suit yourself We're drinking now. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. And, uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Okay. This is so interesting. <gasps> oh no. Mr. Kellogg. I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So. You're with the Institute. This is creepy. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. She's creepy. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. System is off. He's a badass. Okay, that was cool. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. Okay, please. We're running out of brain here. Ah. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. No. All computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully it's all... Just... Oh God! This is no, no. What the heck? 
You're actually gonna show me this? They're like up all of them. This is the one. Here. Open it. This is so creepy. Yes, it's, she's beating like I did. Oh my god. <laughs> Is it Almost. Here? Everything's going to be fine. Okay? Come here. No. Come here, baby. Wait. No. I got it. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you son. Not God again. Damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. Cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. Come on, come on, come on. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. Yeah. I I'm... found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm actually tearing up again. Oh my god. <laughs> You're going the right way. Okay. Is that your son? Oh my god. This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Okay. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. Okay. We know he's hiding somewhere in the glowing sea. Ooh. Here's his file. I heard about the glowing sea. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So... ESC. Quick save. Continue. Guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Oh god. Okay. My poor boy. Damn, he think oh god. This makes this is making me angry. They're gonna die. What is he gonna do? My baby! Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. What the heck? Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Oh, God. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Get me out of here. Oh. Okay, we're going out. This is so trippy. My, uh, even if I find my boy, he's gonna be like, I don't know you. And I'm gonna be like, but you're my baby. And I'm, and, oh, okay. Slow movements, okay? Okay. I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have had. No one's ever done this before. Oh, yeah. How Where's do you Nick? feel? Oh, broken? Sarcastic. Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, <laughs> I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Um... I saw life. Kellogg's life. The man who ruined my family. 
The man I killed. That's right. He was a human being just like the rest of us. And he had reasons for being what he was, however cruel. Mm -hmm. How does that make you feel? I want to say forgive him. Um, I'm going to be nice and forgive him. It, it wasn't all his fault. I can't blame him for everything that happened. If yeah. I were a priest, I would say forgiveness is a good thing. We are getting off track. The important thing is that we discovered the Institute's greatest secret, teleportation. The only question is, what do we do now? Zap me! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, um. What? You don't have a spare teleporter lying around. What kind of egghead are you? This is serious. <laughs> no one outside the Institute could dream of making that kind of technology. Wait, maybe that's it. That memory about Virgil, their scientist who went rogue. If we find if we him. found him. Oh. Good idea. I like it. The memory said the Institute tracked him to the glowing sea, but that seems crazy. A madman would think twice about going there. <laughs> okay. It's like glowing whales. I would love to see that. Perfect hiding spot. That's why spot. he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation in the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak. A way to throw them off and be at an advantage. Yeah. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Okay. It's okay. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, <laughs> but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind uh, you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Who? D. Yeah. A D E A D. A oh, sorry, I so spelled it wrong. Sure, you find a way to get through there with your life intact. And good luck. Thanks. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. Okay. And now, as I promised, we're gonna do the silver shroud because we're getting off track, and I need to get my armor because I'm so slow. I'm gonna probably take Nick with me. I really like the guy. Thank you for the medicine. And now, Nick, my boy. Thank you for your help. Where are you?